What is going on, everybody? It is the Misfit Bear, and welcome back to Dark Pictures. Oh, oh, she sounds Little so Hope. strange. I could barely understand her. She sure sounded like she wasn't from We're anywhere around here. Back with the crew. Now, I'm tempted to say she sounded more like she After was from that, uh, time than experience. another place. After that experience, you're right. With the uh, the little girl Mary, not gonna even try to mimic that accent because I will botch it like you wouldn't believe. But we're heading further into the town. The little town of Little No Hope. Um. That sounded like it. That sounds like an animal. I don't know if I want to investigate that. But do I though? No, nah, I've already moved forward. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> Bambi, you dirty bitch! <laughs> Oh, Bambi, you dirty bitch. Might get a better view from up there. So, you want to get a better view of the animal going into the bush? Uh, okay, bro. Oh, uh, that, that actually got me. The first episode, I was pretty good, but that one actually got me. I think it was the costume I had on. It gave me some, it gave me some you know, some confidence. Ghost Towns of the Northeast. Little Hope. The town returning to nature. <clears throat> the abiding image... <clears throat> excuse me. The abiding image of a ghost town in the popular imagination of an arid desert shack, surrounded by tumbleweed. However, ghost towns exist even in the lush northeast of the United States, buried away in forests, forgotten and abandoned to nature. The reasons for towns to become ghosts vary, but inevitably comes back to economics. The town may have boomed from lodging, mining, or logging, mining, or industry. Then the jobs go, and the people with them. The aptly named Little Hope is one such town, a one-factory community built around textiles that disappeared when cheap imports overwhelmed the market. After many attempts to save the mill, it closed, and a mass exodus ensued. Soon, the school and even the church closed leaving a desolate ruin. That's got to be fucking rough, man. I mean, can you imagine, like, growing up and living out here in nature only to, like, have to move into the city? That really sucks. To just leave everything talking? behind. I don't know. What do you think happened to us back Got there? my protein shake, too. I feel like we're in danger. Makes no sense. Makes no sense. I have absolutely no explanation for it. Makes zero sense to me. It makes zero sense to me too. What is out there? We'll find a way out. Stay calm. How is that defiant? It's whatever. We'll find a way out. We will find a way out of here. We All have right. to. Points up for I hope Andrew. You're right. Appreciate you checking in with me. Of course. Oh hell no. Oh boy. Now we got zombies. There's something up ahead. The color kind of changed a little bit. Yeah, a bridge with a heavy thing of fog in it. Which way? Can we move it? Amen to that. Yeah, I can only imagine how freaked out you would feel out there. Oh. Look at that. Hey. Wait! Stop! Don't nobody run after her. I'm Bearing sure updated. It. 
This is exactly what goes down in horror movies. Uh, uh. What the hell do we do now? I'll deal with this. Stay right here. No. 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 Just no. What are you doing? Oh, for the love of God. Uh, be careful. Be careful, please. I don't want to throw two people in there. Hey, Professor! Oh, God. It's just like what happened to us. You think the Professor will be okay? Yeah, then two people would have been lost. No time for heroics. No. He knew what he was doing. This is not the time for heroics. Little harsh. He could be in deep shit. He could be, but it's his own damn fault. What is this? You should have gone. I should have gone. Say nothing. I feel so useless. Someone should have gone with him when we had the chance. Desperate. I can't take it anymore. I don't think I can take any more. I've had enough for one night. Fair enough. This fucking place. I have a bad feeling about this. I think that was trying to show, like, expect you to sow <laughs> remorse in, but it would have drugged two people instead of just one, and he's just fine. It looks like it. Are you okay? I lost my bearings. I couldn't see you through the thick fog. Okay, he's fine. Girl? I could see you back there. That's really odd because I sure couldn't see you. Your clothes look different and your accent was off. You sounded like an actor in some historical play. It must oh, have been someone wow. Else you saw. I teach you. I know you. I recognized your face. Whoever you saw, it wasn't me. Oh, now, wow. Stop. You're scaring me. I am all done here. Could all of them Use have the a fog. connection? Let us go anywhere except into the center of town. The to back then. Really can and can't go? Fuck that. I'm trying another way. We already went that way. Don't you kids we watch already horror tried movies? It. You never ever split up. Those movies are dumb. And I'm going this way without you. Maybe splitting up isn't such a good idea, Taylor. No way am I going down there. I mean, you were the person that just said this is what happens in horror movies. So obviously you believe something. I'm with Andrew. I'm with Andrew. Even in D&D, &D, so you never split the we party. We go in together. What out, Granny? No one asked you. Okay, time out. Can we all just take a breath? Think about what our next move is. We can check out more options if we split up. I'll go with Taylor. It's not safe for you to be hanging around here on your own. Two teams are more likely to find a way out, which is what we all want, right? I guess you're right. If the fog lets you through and you find help, send them into town to find us. I guess splitting up is inevitable. I guess it's just the matter of how many people split up. Because a feeling will find help faster than the others. As long as somebody does, that's all that matters. Andrew. Yeah, because there was emphasis on her going with John in that little sequence. Then there was the opportunity to go with them and split with them. So it would have it would have happened regardless. It would have just been the matter of who went with who. But yeah, I mean, no, as... Hold up. I was gonna yeah. try to keep the group together. Whoa. Uh, what are you doing, dude? Shit. Oh, what the hell? Wait. Hold on. What button was that? was that that was a little bit strange are we okay here we're good uh, 
Somewhere around here, there must be an easier way back up to the road. Let's move out. That was a tad bit strange. Like, what could I have you done about that? What we saw. Nothing that makes sense. I do know there were witch trials in Little Hope around the same time as Salem. Oh. You can figure that so out. So they yourself. weren't the Salem witch trials, but they what were the that? still witch trials. Now what? Okay, I mean, they're in the same state. They're probably real close to each other. Are you okay? You look worried. Are you okay? Yeah, thanks. I am more or less, but something here just... Uh, what we've been through and seen tonight is difficult to stomach. We all have our own way of coping. John here feels the urge to be our leader, the alpha male. Whereas Daniel and Taylor feel an entirely different, somewhat more animalistic urge. How do you deal with all this? How do you deal with all this? I'm a natural survivor. Tough marriage and an even tougher divorce will do that to you. I feel that. Of course, I'm sure you've already worked out that there is only one person you can truly rely on. Yourself? Don't give up. Don't give up on us yet. Don't give up yet. on all of us just yet. If we stick together, we will make it out of this mess. I'm not sure about that. You know, you sound just like Daniel. We should catch up with John. I mean, that's what I would have said. Oh, it's another one of these. It's another one of these down here. Whoa! Uh, uh, uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> I thought those things were supposed to ward off evil. That that looks pretty damn evil to me, and it's on our ass. Are you okay? Feels like Angela is constantly weighing me up and finding me lacking. I feel responsible for everyone here. You are all in my care. I mean, as the teacher, he would feel would that way. All the this professor. In my he would feel that way. Stop worrying about yourself. Stay positive. I guess I'd try to stay positive. Do my best. That's all anyone could do. Not sure my best is up to dealing with whatever is going on around us tonight. What we saw back there. You think that was really supernatural? Looks that way. It's sure starting to look that way. I am definitely saying that. Creepy little girl in the fog. It looks that way. Then whatever the hell that was. I'm not even looking at myself in OBS and I'm Just probably catching so much stuff on my beard. It doesn't mean we have to reach the most extreme conclusion. That's kind of what happened in Little Hope during the witch trials. Mm. They made bad decisions based on very little hard evidence. Yep. I get that. Sure. I get that. Either way, our goal here is not proving or disproving the supernatural ghosts, whatever else. It's getting the hell out of here. I was about I to like say something, something, but then it's that stopped me. <laughs> yeah, it's just this rickety old house. Careful. Fuck. Wait. Hey, don't be running. All right, here we go. Now it's switched. Oh, it's just a cat. What is it? What's wrong? We saw something moving in there. What exactly are you up to? 
I'm just taking a look here. Isn't this breaking and entering? I won't tell if you don't. <laughs> Anyhow, there's no one here. Yeah, except the cat. I mean, and freaking John just booked it. Modern magic and ritual. Okay, how do you flip through the pages? Whoa. What's that say? Modern magic and ritual is the definitive guide to the subject of magic for the new age, as opposed to magic for stage magicians, written for practitioners to hone their knowledge and art. This book examines in detail all aspects of modern magic and offers readers a rich menu of rituals to practice. Nice. Indulge me. New Age Curses. Of course that would be the first thing I see. Whether you believe in karmic consequences or not, there are ethical considerations to magic such as curses and hexes. These clearly have greater implications than other ethical conundrums, like casting love spells on another person. Some paths forbid it entirely, while others permit it only in self-defense. However, there are a number of questions the practitioner should ask before casting a harmful spell. Do you dwell too much on the desired results? You may experience disappointment and depression if the result is not what you expect. Are you performing this magic for personal gain? Emotions of avarice or envy might interfere with the magic. It's said that if you don't let go of a grenade, you will eventually blow yourself up. Real shit. The same can be said of working harmful magic. Even if you don't believe in the rule of three, it is always best to cleave to Rudolf Steiner's golden rule. For every one step that you take in the pursuit of higher knowledge, take three steps in the perfection of your own character. Knowledge of Higher Worlds and its, atta its Attainment, 1904. Lock of hair. The hair of a living person can be used in many forms of magic, from love spells to curses. When mixed with sulfur and buried, it can inflict harm on the subject. Dang, dude. And that's just lying there. That's just lying there. That's freaking crazy. Examine. Don't jump scare me. Well, I'm committed. What's in the black box? Oh, wow. Oh, should I have left this here? Four bullets. I get the feeling somebody's going to die. You're all done with poking around? <laughs> I found a gun. <laughs> found this inside. What the hell are you doing with a gun? It was hidden under the floor. This Would you stop pointing floor. it? Guns are dangerous. We're already in enough trouble. Yeah, I already feel bad about it. No, I'm putting it back. <laughs> I guess you're right. I'm putting it back. Give it to me. Or I'm giving it to her. Okay, there you go. Practical. Okay. No, I, uh, I started to have regrets <laughs> because you can't tell if anything is real. So I wouldn't want to shoot at a freaking hallucination, like in a certain game. Is this one carved on the tree? What kind of place is this? I am not liking that symbol. I don't think that symbol is good. I really don't. Now we got to catch up to John because his scaredy cat self decided to run off. Professor? Johnny boy. How'd you get all the way over there? <gasps> Calm down, buddy. There you are. You, you flipped out again. You flipped out again, just like you did on the road. You can't blame me for that. What the hell was that in there? It was huge and scary. Don't worry about it. It was nothing. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. What am I, in second grade? 
You run like a He's preschooler, right. so... Get over yourself and move on. I mean, I'd have been freaked out if I'd have heard that, but I wouldn't have bolted and left my people behind like that. This place is our best shot. Little Hope Police there must Department. Be a radio or a working phone inside. Maybe even our driver, too. Oh, yeah, we still have to find that Look guy. for something we can break the glass with. I said we could have put a bullet in it. <laughs> Not gonna lie. We could have put a bullet in it or just hit it with the stock of the gun. I've never actually done that, like in real life. I wonder if that's just a movie thing. I'm pretty sure it isn't if you hit it hard enough. Here's a rock. Yeah, we got this rock. Give me that. I'll smash the window. No problem. I can do this. Okay. If you're sure. Anyone can do this. Not anyone. Putting a rock through a window at 10 paces? Anyone can make the shot. If you're feeling under pressure, let someone else do it. I'm not feeling pressure. Just saying. Can you stop talking? Will you just get on with it? The frame will have rotted away and the glass will fall out on its own before you two have finished. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. Strike. We'll make a ball player out of you yet. Do you think a rookie could make a shot like that? I mean, it really was not that big Looks of a deal. Enough. But I'm pretty sure oh. there are some people out there that couldn't make a throw like that. Piece of cake. You're up next. Black cat and scales on uh, the uh, the badge. I wonder what all would happen in a town like this. Like literally, what all would happen in a small little podunk town like this? I'm curious. Is there nothing but like wild animal sightings, predator sightings, and like, woman really like overly that. drunk people I don't know what the whole time? Are, and I don't intend on sticking around to find out. Makes you wonder. Makes you wonder. Oh boy. Uh uh. Don't be doing that. Don't be doing that. Oh, what's this? Sparkly. What's that noise? Land for sale. No surprise that didn't sell. Who'd want land in this godforsaken town? I know that's right. I know that's right. I've seen American Horror Story Roanoke. I know <laughs> I know what happens when you buy land that ain't yours. Get about that. Even if you make it over, there's no way I'm following. I never did like school. Let's get out of here. I hated school too. Looks like there's no way through. I might have made a bad call here. Don't stress it. Don't stress it. No one made us come this way. We'll find another way. No point in regretting your decisions. The best thing you can do is move on from them and learn from them. That's pretty much it. The world does not give you time to regret. Whoa, okay. Follow the little girl? Really? Okay, so Pond Meadow, Blanchard's Pond, Little Hope Bridge. Is that where we're at? Little Hope Bridge? I mean, this looks like a bridge. So I'd like to think that this is where we are. Also, I just realized uh, this guy, Daniel, he was one of the uh, the two that soldiers in the beginning of Man of Medan. Big time. It was it's the same motion capture actor. I I I had been wondering all this time where I saw his face at, and he was he did that game. <laughs> uh hello Mary. Over there. Hey. Are you okay? 
Concerned. Who are you? I'm not gonna be Who assertive. What are you doing here? Something is real off about this whole thing. This the same little kid Angela and Andrew saw before? I have no clue. Whoa, you can't be doing that. What if I do nothing? <laughs> Whoa! What the hell is going on? I did nothing. Tell me that didn't just happen. I did nothing. What are you talking about? Get away or you will find me. <gasps> Come on out, Mary. Priest. I know very well you're in there. Let me go. I will release you once I'm sure you will not speak of our secret. Your childish games tire me. Secret? You will respect me, and you will say nothing. No. Uh, you know what? Fuck the bullshit. Let go of her right now. Wait, what it's happened to me? I am frozen to my marrow. I do nothing. Amy is the caster of spells. She is the one in league with the devil. I saw her in the forest together with her familiars. I am innocent. I will have the truth one way or another. What happened to me? You come with me, girl. Thank you kindly. Be silent, child. Was I like a ghost or something? Can someone tell me what just happened? Those two kids have to be linked somehow. No way that's a coincidence. I... I don't get it. Let's not hang around here. It's time to go. I mean, I did what I would have done. Because fuck that guy. I did what I would have done. It felt right, and at least... You know... She got the opportunity to explain herself. I couldn't just stand there. Ooh, what's this? Give me this. Oh, wow. It's our first picture. I have not found a single one of these yet. Is the game fixing to get real? Is I'm that is that Both the indicator that Listen. stuff's about to get real? Usually you'd have found a picture by now, but I guess nothing has happened yet, so I guess that makes a whole lot of sense, but I found one now, so she was getting dragged down by chains. And I think if I remember right, I think I uh I think I remember seeing that in the trailer at the end around. of Man of Medan. They can help? So I'll have to be Let's careful because if not, I think she's going to die. It was called Like a Stone. Oh. Okay. Okay, I get it. I just have to be patient and wait for it. But I guess it also makes sense with the traits as well. Because I didn't get it for... Out of the three of them, Anthony and all of them, I think I only got it for There's John. No road. Must lead somewhere, though. I'm not so sure. There's barely even a path. I think I only got it for John, which I should have been patient and just waited. Now I know now. I'm not sure... I don't like the idea of being out here on my own. Be right back. Promise. I mean, if all else fails, hide in the dumpster. <laughs> like, seriously, just hide in there. You'll be all right. I need your phone. What for? Flashlight. It's dark in there. What happened Please to your phone? Quick. Throw it to me. Oh, God. <sighs> Ooh, I knew that was going to happen. Oh, man, if it would have fell out of my hand, for sure it would have broke. For sure. Is it safe? Think so. 
Oh, and then I'd have been screwed. We'd have both been screwed because we'd have been walking around with no light. Oh, man. I got to be ready for these quick times. Notice of closure. We wish to inform you that on Saturday, June 28th, the store will close. Sadly, due to the decline in business since the closure of the factory, we are unable to continue trading. However, Whitman Mart wishes to thank all its customers for their support over the years. Yours, J. Schmidt and A. Lash, General Managers. That's tragic, man. Your whole world just falling apart around you. That sucks. Oh, they had cameras here. No, that's a light bulb. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being a dumbass. <laughs> now, that was a light bulb. Let me make sure that I go through all these different rooms. That one's closed. Is this open? Oh, there's no going down there. What was that? Examine. Here's another picture. Oh my! Premonition unlocked. Ritual blade. Okay. I am going to avoid that. For reasons. I'm going to avoid that. Local minister arrested. A minister in the Diocese of Pleasant River, I guess that's how you pronounce that, has been arrested after complaints from concerned parents about his behavior. The arrest comes after recent revelations that the minister conducted an alleged satanic mass. An eyewitness said that the minister of St. David's Church in Little Hope did not resist as he was escorted from his home. Captain Daniel McGuire confirmed that Reverend Leonard Carson, 42, was being held in custody at the Little Hope Police Department awaiting charges. A spokesperson from St. David's commented, I've never seen the minister do anything untoward. His interest in witchcraft was purely academic. And he would often warn parents of the spiritual dangers of the occult. Okay, I can understand that. Another, uh, another parishioner who did not wish to be named claimed that the minister was innocent of wrongdoing. That child is known as an attention seeker, and I'm certain she has made up the story. Other members of the congregation agreed. Reverend Carson was a good man, a godly man, said one mother of three. I can't believe he'd do anything like this. He's been good to our family. These accusations are lies. The district attorney's office did not respond to calls. When contacted, the officer of the Diocese of Pleasant River stated that the bishop had declined to comment, but that a deacon... A deacon what? You're just gonna leave it like that? Ah. Oh. All right, fine. I was trying to figure out what the deacon was trying to say. Will you? I'm working on it. Uh-uh! Who is that? It's all good. We got this. Oh, is it just a big-ass rat? Hello? Who's there? What is it? Hey! Ooh. Can't get through. This window is all boarded up. You gave me a shock. You gave me a shock. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to spook you. How is it in there? Oh, it's just Blenner. I've got rats for company. This place gives me the creeps. This place is creeping me out. It's full of old ass useless shit. Head to the front. I'll meet you there. Sure thing. It would have been weird to ask, how did you get here? Because, I mean, it's like, we all know how she got here. Ooh, a four pound bag of taters for 43 cents? Hold on, I'll be right there. 
I can dig that. I can dig that. Where I get this bag of chips? Oh, that's a phone. Come on. <laughs> we need a break here. Nope. Phones are dead. Alrighty. What is this? Okay, so... What is this? Uh, turn it. Number one dad. A. You know me so well, game. Hey! Uh, how are you doing? Uh... Angela. Welcome to Walmart! How the... How... The back door is locked. What troubles you? Tell me. What is happening? Someone will come for me. Calm yourself, wife. Who is coming for you? They're talking about me. There are accusations. Accusations of John. what sort? They talk that That's I'm in John. the devil, that I'm guilty of witchcraft. There's no sense in that. Who would say such a thing? I, I, I cannot rightly say. He kind of looks like Steven Seagal almost. Confront or leave. I'm going to confront because if I leave, I'm opening the door. Stay where you are. Fine. Just tell me what's happening. How did I get here? And where the fuck is here? Hold your tongue. You are privy to the rumors about my wife, Amy? What rumors? I don't know you. Uh, what rumors? What rumors? Open the door, Joseph. This instant. Enough of your foolishness. Tell me precisely what you know. I saw a girl. I did see a young girl back there. Tell me about it. She was with the priest. The girl, she... She was with this priest. Reverend Carver. The one now beating on our door. Yo, that cannot be a coincidence. The fact that that reverend from the newspaper was Reverend Leonard Carver. Get the fuck out of here, man. Mary. Get the fuck out of here, Mary. man. That is great. Mary. That is so Mary good. Saw me day or so back. I was about my daily business, nothing more. That is so that is good. Is. Mary does not like me chiding her. Perhaps she's spoken out against me. She has a temper. That's so so damn cool. the room was a Mary's doing. She's a troubled child for sure, but this is beyond her. Joseph, this ends badly if you do not open up. You will be in contempt of our warrant. What plan do we have? I will resolve this. My word on it. Do not admit them. Reverend Carver. Marshal. I have here a legally written warrant for the arrest of Amy. My wife has done nothing wrong. There is a witness to your wife speaking in tongues. Who accuses my wife? Mary. The word of a child condemns my wife. You will deliver yourself into the Marshal's hands for your own good. Then I must accompany her. She will not leave my sight. Amen, brother. Such action will not aid your wife's cause. Trust in justice. Not here. Do not fear. I will find a way to resolve this. Justice was thrown out the window during this time. Taylor, I went back to the place again. Where the hell have you been? In, what was the time, like in the 1600s? You look freaked. What's up? You saw something else, right? They could see and hear me. I saw John and Angela. They could see and hear me. Oh, this was different. I think they could see and hear me. It was hard to tell exactly. They seemed really spooked. You see anything else? I saw the priest again. Priest? The one from the playground? I'm keeping everything connected as best I, I, I can. It, it didn't make much sense. You're kidding me. Nope. No. 
He was real scared. Like, he believed the devil was in Little Hope. Holy shit. What in the hell are we mixed up in here? Oh. No telling. We've really screwed up here. Instead of getting out of this awful place, we're right back in the middle of town. Uh uh, what the hell? <laughs> what in the hell is that? Did you see his arm literally resegment? Oh my god! If that's even a freaking word! It's derelict, let's look around. Uh freaking I guess let's look around. Always be optimistic. Let's take a look around. See what we can find. Oh there you go. We'll be on our way from Little Hope while the others are still MIA in the woods. You're right, old girl? This place is a real dump even for this shithole town. Something up? Yeah, there's something kind of familiar about this place. Mm. You got a big time criminal past we don't know about? Serial jaywalker? These small town police stations all look the same. Felony bird watching. Yeah. I'm a fucking rebel. Yep, there's a phone. Examine. We have a winner. Found a phone. This could be our way out. Line's dead. Yep. <clears throat> and notice how that phone Shit. is the click. Whoa. Hey. Take it easy. Can you stop reacting to every setback like a child? I know that's Look right. Here. The cable is missing. Calm the hell uh, down. There's got to be a cable here someplace. Maybe you should stay here and I'll go look for it. My lord. Is there a phone cable in the hippie stuff? I just want to look real quick. No, it's just the moon again. Inspect. Old Witch Gowl? Real nice. Is that how you pronounce that? Gowl? However, built in 1684, demolished in 1783. In 1692, during the Little Hope Witch Trials, many of the accused were imprisoned here. Makes sense. I'm pretty sure it's the only police department in the area, so they would literally be Don't sent. Don't give up. I feel we're about to find something. I do too. Keep looking. Examine. Ooh, commendation certificate. It's still in really good shape, despite it being just dusty. Certificate of commendation presented to Little Hope Police Department on January 16th, 1972. Officers George Reynolds and Ernie Hoffman responded to a call concerning a house fire. Arriving before the fire service, the officers, with no concern for the- Whoa! What is that? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Man! What do you think? Man! Oh God, let's think about this for a Wait. second. There let's is no this. line in there. It should not be ringing. Answer the goddamn phone. Hey, come on. Be a man for once in your miserable life. Yeah, you ain't gotta hit him like that. Fine. Hello? Who is this?
Say something. You need to engage. Say something to him. Who am I talking to? Whoever it is on this call is having some kind of breakdown. They sound delusional. This is getting way too crazy. Just hang up. Do not hang up. This is our best shot at finding out what's going on here. Y'all do realize that there was no line in the phone. There was no line in the phone. <laughs> there, there was no line. How is it working? Uh-huh. There's Taylor and Come then here, there's girl. Daniel. I would speak with you. You cannot talk of our secret. Eternal damnation awaits if you do. Okay, so what is this secret you we keep have an talking about? Do we not? No evil word shall leave my lips. Should you breathe a word, or the edge of a word about the other things? Oh, is that what this come is? To you in the black of some terrible night, and bring a reckoning that will shut you. Well, now, Reverend, let us begin. Enough time is gone begging. Go be with your kin. Is that is, is that what I kind of secret this, court, this is? And good judge Wyman, do not be fooled by the protestations of the accused. The devil is the master of deceit. All his servants feign innocence. They can do little what else. What was that? Before God, I am innocent of all accusations against Hush me. Hush now, Amy. What the hell should we do? Stay quiet. We need to stay quiet. We just. Let this play out. See what happens. She doesn't even see that it's I mean, no, literally her. I do not believe any of my neighbors. Angela does not Those see any of this. Speak out against me. They know who I am. That I side with the righteous. I will not be caught in the web of your deception. The devil hides himself where he is least expected. My wife is no devil's plaything, Reverend. Oh, he sees it though. I stand by my statement. My wife Amy is innocent. I respectfully ask this good court to pay no mind to the words of a man whose very home is foul with the stench of brimstone. To Tom Riddle looking ass. Approach over there or approach over there? Approach over there. <laughs> Thank you, good judge. Let us conclude our business here without further ado, lest we afford the forces of darkness the opportunity to bend these proceedings to their will. How so? No! Mary? Mary, my sister, what ails you? What the? What? Stay out of this. What? What have you done to this child? You have bound an innocent girl into a pact with the devil himself. What? The poor creature seems possessed. No doubt you're doing. It's not true, Reverend. Why have you taken against me so? We will the see the truth of it. Her. Amy, lay your hands on Mary. Let us see what occurs. No if I am correct, your you touch no will release danger. her from this affliction. How is that? It must a be fact. so if you are the one who bewitched her. I don't know what to do. You know what? Fuck it. It's what I did Leave last time. Who speaks? Yeah, Who's there? God preserve us. It's what I did last time. <laughs> they are here among us. The help you now. This is too late. I think I might have just condemned this woman. I think I might have just condemned her. They are here among us. They are here among us. I condemned somebody. What more proof is needed that the devil walks among us in little hope? <laughs> Take heed and pray. The devil is here in this very room. Protect yourselves. Seek out the Lord. I am so confused right now, man. Oh my God. What the hell was that shit? Was that for real? Didn't the witch trials happen centuries ago? Most of them over 300 years ago. Then how come we just saw one? Like I say, I have no good explanation. 
This is freaking nuts, I man. How much that woman looked like me? Oh, she how did the hell see is that it. How even possible? When you first told me, I thought you were messing with me or exaggerating. But seeing that woman for myself was a whole world of weirdness. Yeah. I should have just minded my own business, man. That I shouldn't have said girl anything. Had some kind of seizure. What do you think was going on there? That's the girl I saw in the woods. I know that little girl. She's the one me and Angela saw back in the woods. That woman, my double? What's she looking at if the trial goes against her? The sentence death? for confirmed witches in Little Hope was always brutal. Violent death, drowning, hanging, burning. And let's hope she is, or was, found innocent. Accusations were often malicious, made by someone with a grudge. Yup. Or by meddling liars. Like that little girl who took perverse pleasure in poisoning their own communities. Nah, that was real. That's what actually happened back then. A lot of the times, it was just a bunch of bullshit. So I agree with that. I'm with you. That kid knew exactly what she was doing when she dropped Angela 2.0 deep in the shit. That Angela woman might double. Was very distressed, almost Bearing traumatized. Updated. Yeah. It was tough to watch for sure. Her husband looked like you. I noticed something else weird. Her husband? He looked a lot like you, Professor. The two people with that little brat look just like Daniel and Taylor. Uh-huh. It's all what getting the pieced together now. Mean? Who's Excuse that? Excuse you? Hey, oh, good. You Come on. Yes, Let's we go. are. We are here, yes. It is a wonder how y'all made it over here. Hey, Taylor, we're in here. We can't open the damn doors. We can't either. They must be locked. Let's you all think? try to force the handle. In three, two, one. Yes, sir. Hey, man. Hey, Professor. Find anything that could get us out of here? Nothing that's going to help us much. But I found this. It's kind of neat. I don't believe it. I saw this exact keychain in my dream. That's pretty weird. Interesting. It's more Indeed. Than weird. It's significant. Yeah, it's mine. I just. Don't know how. Don't worry about it. You don't need to. Still think splitting up was a smart move? I would say I'm now more open to exploring other options. I'm glad you two are finding this funny. Personally, I think we're in deep shit here. You know what happened to your double, right? She was accused of witchcraft. Not just accused. Tried, found guilty, and condemned. We need to know what that woman is facing. What's going to happen to her next? I like the idea. But how would we even begin to find that out? The gears in my head just turned, and I'll explain We've here in been a down second. Those paths. Maybe the answer lies down the one path we haven't taken yet. Which trail? What the hell? Which trail? Is that the path you're talking about? Or is it the execution site? This is fucking crazy. We have no clue what we're getting ourselves into. It's building to something. The trial, the strange girl, Angela's double. Feels like it's all building towards something. Only question is, are we headed someplace good or bad? No telling. And bad is probably very, very bad. Yep. Further into the fog we go. John. Alrighty, well I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna call this episode here. On to what I was thinking. So, basically, we have now got confirmation 
that our little merry band of people here have counterparts back in the day. Every single one of them. My question is this. Are they connected to the point where if they die back in the day, their chance of dying in the now becomes almost absolute? It really, really turned the gears in my head when I started thinking about that. Because, you know, what's her name? Amy is pretty much condemned. Now, maybe I should have kept my mouth shut. I don't know. But the irony is the first picture we got was about Angela. And the first, you know, death that is a possibility is Amy, who is her counterpart. So if I keep the people alive in during the, the Little Hope Salem Witch Trials, Will that, in turn, keep them alive in the real world? I'm going to definitely keep an eye on that and try to focus on that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Until next time, I appreciate all of you for watching. Like and subscribe for more, for I will continue to make these videos for many moons. Stay safe out there, and never forget to holla at your bear. Peace out.